What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Alex MTV Alex and today I'm in the garage. It's a little chilly for Texas. It's, we had the freeze yesterday. Today is uh, February 5th. We had the freeze yesterday and the day before. It was 30 degrees this morning. It's already like 5 o'clock and it's like 51. So <laughs> big difference. So it's still a little chilly for us Texans right here. And today we have the blue accent. I don't know if you can see it right here, but we're gonna be doing some stuff to the blue accent. Before I show you what we're gonna do, please go ahead and consider subscribing and turn the notification bell on if you haven't done so. If you're new to the channel, welcome, and please consider subscribing as we have a lot of videos about mountain bike, DIY maintenance, and all that good stuff. Other than that, let's get right into it. A video that I did not long ago where I show you a uh, that the act the blue accent was tilting to the right a little bit and then I show you a short where this when I put the quick release in and secure the tire the tire was tilting a little bit I think that's the main problem and it currently has the buckles that I had on the tap I never had any problems with it when it was in the tap I actually like the way the buckles first but right now it's giving a problem so on the other video, I also show you that I got a fork on the mail, as well as a tire. Well, I got those both of those things and, and the wheel, wheel and tire, boost wheel and tire that I got both of them from the Facebook Marketplace, different sellers, but I got them for really good deals. So today we're gonna be doing that to this blue accent. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the details on how to do this because I have many videos on how to install forks and all that good stuff. So let's skip to the good part. Right, so you can see it works off with the old buckles. Like I said, I like this, but yeah, look at this. See if you can see how much flex. It has the remote lockout, so let's see. And this is the, it is a little bit heavier. This is a 35 millimeter uh, diameter stanchions. It has compression adjustment as well as a lockout. 44 millimeter offset, 140 millimeters of travel, and this is a 29 inch wheel. And of course it has the rebound adjustment as well. So, Let's weigh them, just, why not? Buckles, 4.05 pounds, 64.5 ounces, 1.835 kilograms. Rock chucks, 4.83 pounds, 77 ounces, 2.19 kilograms. Fork is on, all I gotta do is set the brakes and the tire, and we'll be good to go. Now for the tire, since now I have boost, I can no longer use this quick release wheel, so I'm gonna have to use the wheel that I showed you on a video before, one that I got in the marketplace. I will talk about prices in a different video, I wanna do a completely separate video comparing the two things. This is just gonna be temporary because I have different tires, but I just wanna see if swapping up the fork solved the pulling to the one side issue. So this is just gonna be temporary. It's gonna be the same wheel. We'll actually, uh, we'll see. But I'm gonna put this on and the brake, see what happens. Well, the bike for now is complete. I got the fork on, I got the boot, boost wheel set on it. And I got my original handlebar back on. 
and I took it for a spin and it seems like the leaning problem is no longer a problem so I still gotta take it to the trail and see how it goes worst case scenario I have already purchased a headset a new one to swap it up but I think it's gonna be fine for now I think the whole problem was the old forks the buckles fork that I was twisting a little bit so I guess I will not be using that one anymore so again I have a lot of parts for this bike uh, like I said on the wheel I don't know what's gonna happen to this wheel I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one over here because I do have some wider tires that I want to put in here I, I got two I got two point sixers that I want to put over here and this wheel is a little bit narrow for my taste for these bigger tires that I want to put on so I don't know if I'm gonna be putting in the wheels from the black axum and put these ones on the black axum which is gonna be better because on that one I have 2.4s and 2.4s fit better on these wheels. Other than that, if you wanna stay tuned, if you wanna know what's gonna keep happening to this bike, please hit the like button and subscribe. Also turn the notification bell on so you know you're notified when the new video comes out. Other than that, that's it for this one. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. If you wanna support the channel, check my affiliate links in the description below. There's a uh, link tree with a bunch of parts and bikes and everything in there with the pictures and everything that way you know exactly what you're looking at. And if you buy through those links, even if you don't buy that, it helps the channel. That's it for this one, guys. Can't wait to have this bike done and ride it on the trail like the old, good old times. But for now, that's it. And I'll see you on the trails. Goodbye. <laughs>